Support for this NPR podcast and the following message come from Edward Jones. Lately, it's been hard to think about the future, but at Edward Jones, they want you to get back to drafting dreams and building plans for tomorrow. Learn more at edwardjones.com. For NPR Music, you're connected to All Songs Considered. I'm Bob Boylan. We're doing the best of March. NPR Music's picks for the music they were most passionate about. I bring now Lars Gottridge, who... uh, Always has something very passionate. So, uh, Lars, what do you have? Do you have something like brash, outrageous, in my face? I do, Bob. E. Kokwe is a, a duo featuring the producer Batida and an Angolan rapper and activist named Okanoclasta. You may, if Batida sounds somewhat familiar, he, he did a record with Kanono Number no. 1, the Congolese uh, group that put out a, a string of really great records like almost two decades ago oh, now. Yeah. Um, but this is a record that pairs these two together, um, not for the first time, but they've decided to kind of like, do kind of a concept record. So like the idea is that there are two beings who have crash landed on Earth and in crashing to Earth, they are suddenly faced and confronted by like all the iniquities of humankind. And so that's kind of what wow. this, yeah, that's kind of what this album is about. It's like really uh, brash and up in your face observations on humanity, but with extremely fun party music. That's amazing. So uh, what are we going to hear? We're going to hear Pele. Uh, you might hear a little bit of uh, there are field recordings of Angolan music that they use, and it's kind of all mixed in with like house music beats and a little bit of like really razor shark boom bap and pele translates to the word skin here we go launch time What's up, y'all? Bobby Carter here, producer for The Tiny Desk. 
And my favorite album of March is by Joyce Rice, and it's called Overgrown. You know, this album exemplifies everything that I'm loving in R&B music right now, specifically the versatility. There's a blend and a balance of mid and up-tempo two-steppers, pepper with a ballad here and there that really kind of keeps you locked in. Also, the production, handled primarily by d who's on an amazing run right now, feels really big, but Joyce's range keeps her right in lockstep with everything he's doing. And while Overgrown isn't overloaded with features, <laughs> there's some great ones here. You got a verse from Freddie Gibbs, also a verse from West Side Gun that will probably raise a brow or two, but they, they just work. Anyway, let's check out a song from my favorite album of March, Joyce Rice's Overgrown. This one's called Losing. Saraya Muhammad with NPR Music. I've been following multi-instrumentalist and producer Solomon Fox since his start with Young Bull, a soul collective out of Durham, North Carolina. Fox is still with the group, but he took some time away to make this self-titled debut, a project he started living alone in a cabin in rural Virginia. A few years later, he found himself waiting out the pandemic in London, England, and took that time to finish it up. It's dreamy and lush, and this record is R&B just the way I like it. Simple and clean, not overproduced, not complicated. Fox sings and plays just about every instrument on this record. He told me that it took a long time to finish this project because he spent hours and hours laying drum loops and scrolling through drum sounds. 
After he found the beats and pockets he liked, he re-engineered a lot of the tracks and tried to create a narrative that would connect them. He did that especially well in this song. Listen to the heavy bass line and how it weaves in and out of the tuneful melody. This is Rockaways by Solomon Fox. You like an adventure, so do I Pray that you don't notice I don't really know my way around Let's get lost tonight uh-huh. Say hi To make a difference to When I laugh, you grab my shirt, say no really What are your thoughts on that? Say I don't really think about it much But by now we've missed the last bus So if all else fails and we are stuck Don't worry, we rush, look at the sunrise Let's get lost tonight Shutters for the weekend. Ooh, it's the season for love. Solomon Fox. The song's called Rockaways. I'm Bob Boylan. We're going to take a break. We're doing the best of March NPR Music's picks for their favorite music of March. And you're listening to All Songs Considered from NPR Music. It's All Songs Considered. I'm Bob Boylan. We're going to take a listen to more of the best of March, the songs that NPR Music loved the most. Kara Frame is a video producer here at NPR Music uh, for the Tiny Desk Concerts. And uh, she's got something she's in love with. So let's hear from Kara. My pick this month is Denialism by Hirsch. Hirsch is comprised of actor-musician Emile Hirsch and French producer The Frenchman. You'll recognize Emile from films such as Into the Wild, Lords of Dogtown, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I really, really fell in love with this synth-heavy new wave sound. I can't tell if it's the end of a pandemic winter or the one-year anniversary of a global lockdown. But the music makes me hopeful of bubbly summer days ahead as the world begins to open up again. It put a smile on my face, and I hope it does the same for you. Here's my favorite song from the album, Reaction.
Hey, this is Nikki Birch, video producer for Jazz Night in America. For the last year, I've been thinking about my friendships and how they've been tested in the icy fires of isolation. Many of them survived and got stronger, and some of them are now just memories. So when I heard Joel Young's friend for the first time, the opening lyrics punched me in the heart. I've seen your broken soul. I've seen your whole heart break. I never let you go as you found your way. You've seen my darkest hour. He guides us through the story of an enduring friendship and comforts us with the song's sweet simplicity. Melodic guitar lines that feel like a warm hug and drums that gently encourage you to sway and smile in your seat. The message is one of optimism and dedication and reassurance and the soul's most powerful bomb, gratitude. Just come back to get 
together again. We don't get to pick our lifelong friends. In this life we've been given here on earth. I'd be wrong if I let this moment pass without saying. Depth of me, you're never confused. You know so many things I've done in secrecy, but you've kept them to yourself, and that means so much to me. Let's keep going on. Let's keep this thing strong. Let's keep being each other's home, sweet home. Let's write some more stories. So when we're old-time buddies, we can look way, way back and recount all our glory. We don't get to pick our lifelong friends. In this life we've been given here on earth. I'd be wrong if I let this moment pass without saying. My name is Nate Chenen. I'm the editorial director at WBGO, and my best of March pick is Promises by Floating Points with Pharaoh Sanders and the London Symphony Orchestra. This album is a journey in every sense of that word. It's a journey within, it's a journey through the cosmos, um, and it pairs Floating Points, aka Sam Shepard, the British electronics artist, multi instrumentalist, and composer with Pharaoh Sanders, who has been a tenor saxophonist um, at the forefront of the jazz avant-garde since the 1960s. And it's really a suite custom-fitted for Pharaoh's voice as a saxophonist and also his his literal voice. It's full of sparkling detail, uh, as well as this longer arc. And it really defies classification. You know, it, it combines classical orchestration with the detail of electronic music and the spiritual underpinnings of the jazz tradition that Pharaoh Sanders inhabits. It is inspiring and immersive, and it rewards repeat listens, um, as I can already attest, and as I'm sure I will be proving over the course of the next several months. 
Promises, Floating Points with Pharaoh Sanders. Thank you. 